While you likely know that data science is the practice of making data useful, you may not have a clear landscape around the tools that can help you at each stage of the data science workflow. Well, stay with me to discover the six broad areas that are critical to the process of making data useful and some corresponding Google Cloud products and services for those areas. Let's go. Well, first is data engineering. Perhaps the greatest missed opportunity in data science stems from data that exists somewhere but hasn't been made accessible for use in further analysis. Laying the critical foundation for downstream systems, data engineering involves the transporting, shaping, and enriching of data for purposes of making it available and accessible. We consider data ingestion as moving data from one place to another and data preparation, the process of transformation, augmentation or enrichment of data prior to consumption. Now, global scalability, high throughput, real-time access, and robustness are really some common challenges at this stage. For scalable real-time and batch data processing, look into building data ingestion and pre-processing pipelines with Dataflow, a managed Apache Beam service. There's a reason why Dataflow is called the backbone of analytics on Google Cloud, and we've done a video on this before. I will link that in the description. If you're looking for scalable messaging system to help you ingest data, consider Cloud PubSub, a global, horizontally scalable messaging infrastructure. Cloud PubSub was built using the same infrastructure components that enable Google products, including the ads, search, and Gmail, to handle hundreds of millions of events per second. If you want an easy way to automate data movement to BigQuery, a serverless data warehouse on Google Cloud, then look into the BigQuery data transfer service. For transferring data to cloud storage, take a look at storage transfer service. And for no-code data ingestion and transformation tools, check out Data Fusion, which has over 150 pre-configured connectors and transformations. In addition to data flow and data fusion for data preparation, Spark users may want to look at related products and features for Spark on Google Cloud. Now for data storage and data cataloging on Google Cloud, for structured data, consider a data warehouse like BigQuery or any of the cloud databases, the relational ones like the Cloud SQL and Spanner and NoSQL ones like Cloud Bigtable and Firestore. For unstructured data, you can always use cloud storage, which is an object store. You can also use cloud storage as a data lake. Um, I have done another video where I've compared different database options. I will link that in the description below. For data discovery, cataloging, and metadata management, consider Data Catalog. For a unified solution, take a look into Dataplex, which integrates a unified data management solution with an integrated analytics experience as well. Now comes data analysis. From descriptive statistics to visualizations, data analysis is where the value of data starts to appear. Now, data exploration, data pre-processing, and data insights are parts of this. Data exploration is a highly iterative process. It involves slicing and dicing the data via data pre-processing before data insights can start to manifest through visualizations or simply via simple group by order by operations. One hallmark of this phase is that the data scientists may not yet know which questions to ask about the data. In this somewhat ephemeral phase, a data analyst or scientist has likely uncovered some aha moments, but hasn't shared them yet. Once insights are shared, the flow enters the insights activation stage where those insights become used to guide business decisions, influence consumer choices, or become embedded in other applications or services. 
On Google Cloud, there are many ways to explore, pre-process, and uncover insights in your data. If you're looking for a notebook-based end-to-end data science environment, check out Vertex AI Workbench, which enables you to access, analyze, and visualize your entire data estate, from structured data at the petabyte scale in SQL with BigQuery, to pre-processing data with Spark on Google Cloud and its serverless auto scaling and GPU acceleration capabilities are amazing. You don't have to worry about managing any of that. As a unified data science environment, Vertex AI Workbench also makes it easy to do machine learning with TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Spark, but with built-in ML ops capabilities. Finally, if your focus is on analyzing structured data from Data Warehouse and Insights Activation for business intelligence, you may want to also consider using Looker with its rich interactive analytics, visualizations, dashboarding tools, and Looker blocks to help you accelerate your time to insights. Now, third, is model development. From linear regression to XGBoost, from TensorFlow to PyTorch, the model development stage is where machine learning starts to provide new ways of unlocking value from your data. Experimentation is a strong theme here, with data scientists looking to accelerate iteration, speed between models without worrying about infrastructure overhead or context switching between tools for analysis and tools for productizing models with MLOps. Now to solve for these challenges, once again, as a Jupyter-based, fully managed, scalable and enterprise-ready environment, you've got Vertex AI Workbench, which makes it easy as the one-stop shop for data science scientists combining analytics and machine learning, including Vertex AI Services, Apache Spark, XGBoost, TensorFlow, and PyTorch are just some of the frameworks that it supports in Vertex AI Workbench. Now, Vertex AI Workbench makes managing the underlying compute infrastructure needed for model training easy with the ability to scale vertically and horizontally and with idle timeouts and auto shutdown capabilities to reduce unnecessary costs while training the models. Now, notebooks themselves can be used for distributed training and hyperparameter optimizations, and they include Git integrations for version control. Due to the significant reduction in context switching required, data scientists can build and train models five times faster using Vertex AI Workbench than when using traditional notebooks with Vertex AI, Custom models can be trained and deployed using containers. For low-cost model development, data analysts and data scientists can also just use SQL with BigQuery ML to train and deploy models, including XGBoost, Deep Neural Networks, and PCA. Now, directly using BigQuery's built-in serverless auto-scaling capabilities, all of this is possible. Now, behind the scenes, BigQuery ML actually leverages Vertex AI to enable automated hyperparameter tuning and explainable AI. For no-code model development, Vertex AI training provides a point-and-click interface to train powerful models using AutoML, which comes with multiple flavors. You've got tables, images, text, video, and translation, Fourth is ML engineering. Now, once a satisfactory model is deployed, the next step is to incorporate all the activities of a well-engineered application lifecycle, including your testing, development, monitoring, and all of those activities should be as automated and robust as possible. Now, Manage Datasets and Feature Store on Vertex AI provides shared repositories for datasets and engineered features, respectively, which provides a 
single source of truth for data and promote reuse and collaboration within and across teams. Now, Vertex AI's model serving capability enables deployment of models with multiple versions, automatic capacity scaling, and user-specific load balancing. Now, finally, Vertex AI model monitoring monitors and provides the ability to monitor prediction requests flowing into the deployed model and automatically alert model owners whenever the production traffic deviates beyond user-defined thresholds and previous historic prediction requests. Now, MLOps is the industry term for modern, well-engineered ML services with scalability, monitoring, reliability, automated CI-CD, and many other characteristics and functions that are not taken for granted in application domain. The ML engineering features provided by Vertex AI are informed by Google's extensive experience deploying and operating internal ML services. And our goal with Vertex AI is to really provide everyone with easy access to essential MLOps services and best practices. Fifth is insights activation. Now, insights activation stage is where your data has now become useful to other teams and processes. You can use Looker and Data Studio to enable use cases in which data is used to influence business decisions with charts, reports, and alerts. Data can also influence customer decisions and as a result, increase your usage or decrease churn. Finally, the data can also be used by other services to drive insights. These services can run inside Google Cloud, on Cloud Run or Cloud Functions, or outside Google Cloud where you're connecting using Apigee API Management as an interface. Sixth is orchestration. All of the capabilities that we've discussed so far provide the key building blocks to a modern data science solution. But a practical application of those capabilities require orchestration to automatically manage the flow of data from one service to another. This is where a combination of data pipelines, ML pipelines, and ML ops comes into play. Effective orchestration reduces the amount of time that it takes to reliably go from data ingestion to deploying of your model in production in a way that lets you monitor and understand your ML system. For data pipeline orchestration, Cloud Composer and Cloud Scheduler are both used to kick off and maintain the pipeline. For ML pipeline orchestration, Vertex AI Pipelines is a managed machine learning service that enables you to increase the pace at which you experiment with and develop machine learning models and the pace at which you transition those models into production. Now, Vertex Pipelines is serverless, which means that you don't really need to deal with managing an underlying GKE cluster or infrastructure. It scales up when you need it to, and you pay only for what you use. In short, if it lets you really focus on building your data science pipeline. Those were the six broad areas that are critical to a data science workflow and for making data useful. Which of these areas is of most interest to you? Share with me in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more such content. Thank you.